in this video, depending on what position you find yourself in, it's either going to be music to your ears or not exactly what you were hoping to hear. To give you the Cliffs notes, if you're a seller or a landlord, you're going to like this video. But if you're a buyer, a renter, or an investor who's been sitting on the sidelines, the implications are not going to be as good for you. But either way, the information in this video will help put you at an advantage no matter which side of the fence you're on. Okay, so there have been some trends that have been developing over the past year during COVID. And some of them, in my opinion, are going to accelerate while others are about to reverse. Now, my main focus as a real estate agent is in the Metro New York areas of Bergen and Hudson County. So I'm going to spend most of my time focusing in my market. But even if this is not a market that you focus in, New York City is really the heartbeat of real estate and finance for the country. So you're going to find that the implications of the information in this video will affect you even if it's not your target market. So let me start off by explaining what recently happened that caused me to create this video and go down an information rabbit hole to share all the relevant data with you. So I had a client call me and she asked me to help her sell a property in Jersey City. It was a four family four unit building that generally, you know, if this was February of 2020, it would have sold 10 times over. But in this market, there's some interest, but at a lower price point and a higher cap rate. If you're not sure how to calculate cap rate, I actually made a funny video about that last year. Cap rate. Sure, I have a bunch of homes coming up with a 5% cash rate. No, no, cap rate. Are you saying crash or cash? I'll put a link in the description for you so you can watch that video and follow along later. Now, why I felt this subject property was a good example for a video is that most of the country outside of the densely populated areas of New York City and Hudson County are skyrocketing in both sale and rental prices. While a recent report just came out that shows that as of March of 2021, sales in New York City are down 28% year over year, but that's already changing. And I'm going to show you why that's going to happen really fast. And a lot of buyers and renters are about to miss out on a big opportunity in the next 90 to 120 days. See, the property sales in Manhattan are basing, meaning that they bottomed out. Now they're preparing for an uptrend. But just like any other market, like the stock market or retail, there needs to be a catalyst that sends it in that direction. This is where I'm going to use Disney World as an example, because it's a small world after all, right? <laughs> God, I hate that ride. But my point is, when the attractions are all closed and you have to go on a roller coaster like this poor guy, why go to an expensive oasis when you can't really even do anything except for spend money just for being there? However, when the attractions open up again, you can only imagine the premium that Disney will have to charge just to keep the crowds at bay. This is the pent up demand scenario that a lot of the news mediums have been talking about. The next bull market, pent up demand. And this pent up demand goes for travel, restaurants, and in my opinion, the need for people to get back to the physical work environment. Now me personally, working from home has been great. I'm 38 years old, I have two young kids, and I'm lucky enough to have a nice home office to work from. However, the younger generation that's just getting started, well, I feel as though they wanna meet people in the office, they also need physical training, even though training via Zoom call is helpful, it's definitely a great way to get started. It's not always the best way to keep somebody's attention. And I gotta be honest, somebody like myself who has been in the business for a little while, it's not always as easy to train people via Zoom meetings all of the time. That doesn't mean that there aren't businesses that aren't flourishing in that way, but I'm just saying that the younger generation, there's a different level of energy when working in a setting with other people. And besides that, the younger generation wants to just meet new people, go to bars, go to restaurants, go to Broadway plays, and basically work in the Disney world of the work environment. We all know where that is. And for this reason, I'm extremely bullish on the Hudson and Bergen County markets in the next few months. And I'm going to quickly tell you why. Then I'm going to go back to the multifamily opportunity that I made this video about. So Bergen County has obviously benefited from the outflows of the population moving out of New York City. And personally, I think this continues for the next six to nine months because it gave you that perfect situation of more space and the ability to work from home with extra bedrooms or offices. But, you know, I will say, as I was saying before, the younger generation, they want to meet people. And I do believe that it is important for them to physically get back into the work environment. There's a great article that just came out on Forbes about this uh, called the hybrid work environment, which is basically 
the balance between working from home and working in an office. So that's why I think Bergen County is still going to benefit because it's 45 minutes or less to New York City. And for people that are going to be in the hybrid work environment, I think that that's going to be a good scenario, at least for the next six to nine months. Now, Hudson County has a more established nightlife restaurant situation and is only 20 minutes or less to New York City. So for the folks that are going to be back in the office full time or are working a hybrid scenario in which they have to be to the office more days than they're working from home, Hudson County is really going to benefit from that situation. Now back to the subject property that I think poses the perfect example of what's about to happen in this market that's coming up and why a lot of investors are missing out if they're not working with agents that are in tune with the direction in which the market's going. So this home is a four family, which means it has four units and we're looking to sell it just under 1.1 million. Now the feedback that we've been getting is that people are looking for a 5% cap rate or higher and where we're currently priced at gives us about a 4% cap. So we have two options. We can either bring the price down to about 900,000 or rents would have to go up about 15% to get us to that 5 to 6% cap, which in my opinion, based off of the information I'm going to share with you, is pretty much a given at this point. See, when landlords have been asking me for the past year how the rental market is in Hudson County, I've had to tell them that one bedrooms are basically down about 13%, and two bedrooms with no private outdoor space or no laundry in the unit are down about 8%. And the funny thing is, when you look at the recent reports about the New York City rental market, I was actually pretty shocked to see this. One bedroom rental prices are down 15.2%, while two bedroom rental prices are up 15.3%. I've never seen a more direct correlation to anything. I was really shocked when I saw how obvious that data was. People are moving out of one bedrooms into two bedrooms. And then that same thing flows outwards, meaning that people are either moving out of Hudson County or looking past the smaller units and are willing to pay more in the areas that are the suburbs or even further than that. Even in Pennsylvania, we're seeing the numbers skyrocket based off of the outflows. Now let me tell you why 15% increases in our area are really not unrealistic. When Morristown is seeing a rental increase of 32% year over year, 15% doesn't sound so crazy now, does it? Now in the last video I made, I briefly talked about inflation and how it causes the values of homes to go up. Now since I made that video, a $6 trillion stimulus package has now been proposed. So if printing money causes inflation, Inflation causes the cost of housing to go up. And we have a scenario in which New York City is reopening and it's gonna be like a Disney pent up demand situation for people wanting to get back to work. Well, you can only imagine what's about to happen to both the rental prices and the sale prices in our area. Oh, and to add fuel to the fire, most analysts are saying that interest rates are gonna stay well below 4% till the end of the year. So to tie this all together, let's connect the dots. We know that rental values are about to go up. The reopening is gonna have a huge effect on people coming back to the area. And knowing all of this, what does this mean? Well, at today's prices, a 4% cap rate will be a five or 6% cap rate in the next 90 to 120 days when rental values go up. Now, why am I telling you this? The seasoned investors that always seem to win are the ones that buy first when other people aren't looking or they're asking for a higher cap rate because they know that the inventory just isn't going to be there by the time that the numbers get to where most people are looking for. So I hope this information was helpful for you. If you're a buyer or an investor and you'd like to dig a little bit deeper, call, text, or email, and I'm happy to help you out. Same thing if you're a multifamily owner or a landlord and you feel like the numbers just aren't in your favor. Well, I hope this gives you confidence in this video, and I'm happy to share all these reports with you. Thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.